important thing with cordless is where you install the brackets. That's the most important thing. And I'll demonstrate a few things of it. See where the bracket is installed right now? Right yeah. on top of the motor. This came back because the motor is now retracting. So there's two things could go wrong. Number one, if, if I pull it down, I'm pulling them with my actual power, pulling it down. But if I'm trying to bring it back up, and if I have a bracket sitting on top of the motor, or the cradle that the cord is running, I just put my finger on top, thinking there's a bracket here. See, so it's not going up. That's the first thing that you check. If the blind is not retracting back up, it means that there's something is on top of the component in the head rail. Okay. All I did is just put my finger. Think yeah. about it, there's a bracket there, and That's it's right. inside mount. Yeah. So you're pressing the head rail against the wall to clip the bracket in place. So that's all it takes. A common uh, problem to installers, not really thinking about it, they will try to mount brackets equally, for example. Right. So there's their standard practice. I'm going to bring it in two inches from that side, three but inches, two inches, and then there, one in the middle. There's right. also a question, is installer's question, if the motor is there and I need to put the brackets, what do I do? This motor, you can move it. It's movable. Right. You can move it to any part. As long as it's not out of the shade to release the tension, mm -hmm. you can move it to any part that you can put the bracket. It's mostly this. Center brackets depending on that's how that, the most the important one that happens to drop on, yeah, the, on top yeah. of the cradle yeah and you will find that it's not retracting back up so that's that's key key thing changing the motors is very very simple it should, it should come with a little just a little crank yeah actually it the motor crank itself so what do you do yeah. is when if you decide to change the motor you drop the shade to the full length then you roll the cord if it's a standard cordless the cord rolled towards you. So you roll it towards you. You might find a, a cordless bottom up top down will have two drive, yep. two system. The front cord is always, the bottom up is always on the front. The top down is always on the back. So the back cord, if you have two drive you're looking at, the back cord will be turning the opposite direction. And that's exactly how the motor cranks, the opposite direction. The standard cordless, the motor crank, the direction that the cord is rolling on the spool, which is forward. Mm -hmm. So for a standard, it cranks towards the front, and if it's a bottom up top down and it's the back, it cranks towards the back. That's how the cord wraps, so it wraps with the tension on it. So it's very simple. You take it out. There's a spline on the shaft that spline line up with the spline on the motor, and you put it into place. Now what you do is, all depends on the size of the shade. A standard turn will be tree rotation of the motor. That would, should give you good Adequate. enough tension to roll the shape. So you'd make three complete rotation of the motor, and then you push it back in. That's all it takes. Now, when you put it up back in the brackets, and you try to bring it down and back up, and if it's not retracting as quickly as you're pushing it up, it means it's not enough tension in the motor. So what you do is you pull it back out, and you add a few turns more to the motor, maybe one or two more turns to the motor, and then you put it back in. That should be more than enough to get you going. Mm -hmm. The white motor is the standard motor. It lifts somewhere around, maybe around between 10 to 15 pounds. Anything wider or heavier than that, you should go into the blue motor, which is a lot stronger. I don't know if you know what the blue the motor is. The same concept. But it's a heavier motor. Like How often do you use this? Not too often. If the fabric is room darkening, more so you turn towards the heavier one because it's a heavier fabric. But if it's most of the case, you use the white motor. Now you see some shade coming from outside fabricator, use a brown motor and a gray motor. The only reason for that is if they have an extra white shade or it's a heavy fabric, a gray motor and a brown motor is the two lightest motor that we have. So between the white and the blue, there's a mid range. So you take the gray and you add it to the white, so it give you a mid-range tension mid -range. instead of having the blue and the white. So you get some flexibility that you can play with in terms of the tension on the motor.